Hey guys, it's your boy Firefox and welcome or welcome back to the channel. On today's Pokemon Diamond and Pearl news or Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pearl news, we're talking about fairy types, the five best fairy types that could be used in the upcoming Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl remakes. Um, the potential of the addition of Galarian form Pokemon and of Alolan form Pokemon and many others. Uh, it's your boy Firefox, let's jump straight into it. I want to shout out first of all um, one of the subscribers and his name is up on top, his name is Gift Gamer, and he commented, I love how simple your setup is, you don't try hard to impress your viewers and I really like that about you, big fan. Hey, shout out to you my guy, thank you for your comment, I appreciate everybody's comment, so make sure to comment in the below of the video so that you can probably get your comment shouted out as well and uh, don't forget guys we have 19 days 11 hours 49 minutes and 50 something seconds left for the game to release less than a month away but all for let's get straight in it so the first thing we want to talk about are the fairy type pokemon that would be the best to use in situations in this upcoming bdsp game they've already confirmed that we're going to be getting fairy type added to the game so now we have a way to destroy dragon type pokemon that we probably never really had the opportunity to do before um, so first we want to start off with Clefable so Clefable isn't the strongest Pokemon of all time um, what it does have though is its excellent coverage Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flamethrower and Moonblast are the most Clefable has and a couple of Calm Minds all of these are guaranteed to do solid damage before I mean for five generations of Pokemon Dragon types were almost unbeatable and only Ice types and opposing dragons could hit them super effectively. In generation 5 though, the fairy types was invented to counter dragons and this new type was assigned to several older Pokemons who didn't have it in generation 4 so that we can now do some more fair damage or super effective damage I guess to our dragon type Pokemon. Um, next on the list we have azumarill so azumarill i mean each trainer when they catch azumarill has a 50 percent chance of catching a huge threat i mean with huge power ability azumarill gets its attack doubled allowing it to steamroll just about any pokemon uh there's also a chance azumarill will get the sick fat ability which is of course less valuable so it's a 50 50 percent chance that you're gonna get a pokemon that could be very useful or not you have to take those chances uh, as you see fit but the next pokemon doesn't um disappoint and he was or she was recently added to another pokemon game called pokemon unite and that would be this sylveon right here players in pokemon brilliant diamond and china pull are also likely to get a free ev of course this Pokemon has several good evolutionary options, but trainers might want to consider Sylveon. Right? This Pokemon not only spams Moonblast for loads of damage, but can also use coverage moves like Psych Shock and Mystical Fire. Now the next Pokemon is one of my friend's personal favorite, the fairy type, I, I believe. I could be wrong. His name is Sias. Make sure to check out his channel. Uh, it would be Togi Kiss. I should have waited and let him comment below before I mentioned the name. In Pokemon Platinum, players received a free Togi P egg in Eternal City. So this is another free Pokemon you're going to be getting. Uh, if the same thing occurs in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl, then the players can evolve Togi P all the way to Togi Kiss. And this Pokemon gets a nasty plot. Gets nasty plot. A move that doubles its special attack, which means I mean Togi Kiss is going to be doing way more damage than he would have before now with the addition of the fairy typing his arsenal and last but not least is our friend Gardevoir yes Gardevoir himself uh, I mean most persons he was also added recently in Pokemon Unite but Gardevoir has a great move pool to go along with his huge special attack it's arguably the best calm mind user in the game along it to boost Thunderbolt, Moonblast, Psychic, Energy Ball whichever you choose to run on him in fact, by teaching its Shadow Ball, trainers will have a great counter to Lucian, the Psychic Type Elite 4 member. So keep that in mind when selecting your team. Now, 
with the addition of fairy types it goes to show not only with the addition of fairy types but with the addition of like the shiny area which we spoke about in a previous video you'll see it up in the cards above that the game could bring to it some changes that we do not expect now a new trailer is supposed to release anytime soon now for it probably this week upcoming and uh, who knows we might see something brand new or something that we're familiar with but brand new to this um generation and i want to throw out there my two cents before it happens uh of the addition of galarian form pokemon now these are some of the galarian form pokemon that are on the screen here we know all of them from pokemon sword and shield one game that i finished completely uh, not recently actually I, I completed it way back when it released uh, initially probably two three days within two three days I already finished the game and the Galarian forms I mean were amazing to get I mean Surfetched was one of the um, what do you call it uh, exclusives to the board games to one game and not the other and the Ponyta as well and it would be cool to get these Pokemon and their shiny variations back into the game in this generation four uh also not forgetting the alolan form of some of these pokemon that we know and love like the vulpix the alolan vulpix that we have in pokemon unite and rasata and many other pokemon um the funny looking um dog trios and that kind of thing so let me know in the comments down below would you be okay with the addition of Alolan forms and Galarian forms and let me know which fairy type in Pokemon would you be using when Brilliant Diamond and Shiner Pool released. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know in the comments down below as well any other ideas you may have of things that might be coming to the game that you would probably want me to do a video on or probably do some research on to see if these things could happen. It's your boy Fox. Until next time, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Peace out.